every layer that you add to your wall type must have a function assigned to it. Now if you hit the little drop down box there, you can see a list of the hardwired functions that you can choose from. You can't add to this list, you can't take away, you can't change these priority numbers in the square brackets. I'll run through what those do a little later on in this unit. But for now, I just want to take you through each of these options here, these layer functions, and explain what each one is typically used for. So starting at the top, structure. The structure function would typically be designated against a layer which supports the rest of the wall. So it could be um, a dense concrete block, um, concrete panels, for, for instance. So anything that's acting structurally that then supports the rest of the buildup of the wall would be designated as structure with a priority of one. Substrate with a priority of two. This would typically be a material that goes on to support other materials, so it could be like a backing board, like plywood or gypsum board, for example. Thermal stroke air layer function. This normally prevents air penetration and adds thermal insulation to your wall buildup. The first of the finishes functions here, finish one with a priority of four, this is normally assigned to the exterior layer. And the second finishes function, finish two with a priority of five, the lowest priority in the list. This is normally reserved for the innermost finishes layer. And finally, we've got a membrane layer function. This is normally designated to a layer which prevents vapor ingress into your wall buildup. And this should normally be designated with a thickness of zero. Now you'll notice that each layer function has a name and a number in square brackets. The number is the layer function priority. So if I just expand that list again, so structure priority one, substrate priority two, and so forth down the list. Membrane layer note does not have a priority number. Now the smaller the number, the higher the priority. So the top priority is structure number one and it goes down the list with finish two function having the lowest priority set at number five. Now the purpose of the function priority numbers is to resolve the wall joins between different wall types. So if I just put that list away, so I've got a dedicated unit coming up very soon on wall joins where we'll actually look at this in detail. But just to describe the concept, if you've got two different wall types joining together, then Revit starts with the layers in the core boundary first. So it'll take all the layers in the core of wall type A and it will try and join them and resolve those joins to the layers in the core of wall type B with the higher number priorities taking precedent over the lower priorities. Once the core layers are sorted out between the two wall types, then the finishes zone layers are resolved. So all the layers in the outer finishes zone of wall type A will try and match through to all the layers in the exterior finishes zone of wall type B with the higher priority numbers taking priority over the lower ones and conversely the finishes zone on the interior of wall type A will go through and try and resolve themselves with the layers in the interior finishes zone of wall type B. It's a very common scenario in Revit for users to get very frustrated with the wall joins that the layers aren't joining as they need or expect them to. It all comes down to this function and priority. So sort of changing these in your different wall types and maybe swapping where some of these layers sit between the finishes zones and the core zone, you can actually get those wall joins to resolve themselves correctly. This is a sample video from the Ultimate Guide to Autodesk Revit Walls online course. For full details of this course, please visit bimscape.com.